Tom, on, welcome to the Media Centre. Uh, the last man to qualify for Team Europe um, just a few short weeks ago. Can you just describe your emotions after main in Denmark? Yeah, um, yeah, it was a tough couple of weeks. Um, I would say, especially in Denmark, just um, a different kind of pressure I haven't tried before. Really, um, I was, I was trying just to think about winning the tournament and and making a good result, but. Um, with the media and stuff, it was very difficult for me not to think about the Ryder Cup, and and I found myself in that first round just too many thoughts in my head, and it was very difficult to play. Um, but then it got slowly got better and better, and uh, I think it was just um, it was nice to know how how I react in those uh, situations. So uh, I think it was a good learning experience, and obviously. Um, come Sunday afternoon and and seeing that I actually qualified was uh, yeah very very um, firstly relief and then just very exciting and yeah really happy and obviously Thomas was there also to congratulate me and uh, yeah just a really special feeling. And now that you're here at the Golf National as part of Team Europe what's it like in that team room as a rookie? Um, uh, it's been great. Um, Obviously, we are, we are a few rookies, um, so um, that's maybe made it a bit easier for me. But I think all the experienced guys has been great, and um, so far we had uh, we've had so much fun. So it's been uh, it's been pretty easy to get into the team. I feel like. Okay, we'll open up to questions. Go on, Mike three. What's the um, what's your first memories of the of the Ryder Cup? And what exactly does it mean to you to, to be playing in the Ryder Cup? Um, I think uh, when I got here on Monday and I just saw all the guys and we met up in the team room for the first time, I think that's probably um, when, it, when I realized and I'm here. And uh, um, Before that, I felt like I was very relaxed, um, didn't think too much about it. But then it hit me when I got here, um, when I got here on Monday. Mike, one, please. Sorry, first, first memory. Yeah, that was my first memory um, of the Ryder Cup, and yeah, obviously it's 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 very special to be a part of. It's something I've watched since I was seven, eight years old. Um, so, um, so standing here now and being a part of the team is, uh, yeah, just a special feeling, and um, I guess a very proud moment for myself. Mike, one in the middle. Torbjorn, hi. You hi. know uh, Thomas better than anyone in the team. You guys have a, a really great friendship that goes back a long way. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? And can you tell us how much you wanted to make this team for your first Ryder Cup once he was announced as captain? Yeah, so, I mean, um, yeah, ever since I got on, on the European tour, um, Thomas sort of took me under his wing and, and was a little bit of a mentor for me. And, and then, uh, yeah, we got really close friends ever since. Um, done a lot of different stuff together and just, uh, yeah, spent a lot of time off the golf course. Not not about golf, but just, uh, yeah, being really good friends. Um, so obviously two years ago uh, when he got announced captain and also being in Paris and stuff, it was it was definitely a big goal for me to, to try to achieve this and be a part of this team. Um, that's why it's. I feel like it's a. It's a really proud. Um, I'm really proud of myself of the way I handle things this summer and kept on going and, and um, yeah just uh, yeah just been been really proud of that. We'll stay on night one. Thorbjorn, uh, it seemed like you were a pretty popular guy last night in the picture with all of the ladies. Can you explain uh, the genesis and how that that picture came about last night? Yeah, I, I didn't know. Um, yeah, obviously on my own this week. Um, but the guy said it's a, it's a tradition, so um, obviously I had to jump in there and, uh, and uh, take that beautiful picture. Um, so I was, uh, I was a pretty happy, happy man for, for a few, uh, few minutes. <laughs> Mike, three on the right. So, Tobion, you were in Hazeltine sort of driving Thomas's buggy. Um, what can you sort of tell us from that? Any secrets you learned or just... What you learned from that experience that might help you this week? Um, well, first of all, it's it's the toughest job I've ever had for sure. Um, driving Thomas's captain was uh, Bucky was 
was difficult. He was very demanding, so uh, I was running around. Um, no, it was just it was a great experience for me. Um, you know, seeing behind the scenes, seeing what the captains do, uh, vice captains uh, um, realize how tough of a job they actually have to 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 pick the teams and. Um, you know, standing on the first tee, uh, seeing all that, I think is uh, is a good experience, and I think um, it can only help me for this week. Mike Four at the back. Hi, Toby. On you, you mentioned um, Hazeltine helping you for the first tee nerves. Is there any sense that Himmeland Hill will will help your sort of experience of being in front of so many people? Um, well, I think definitely this year at at, um, at Silgapo, I think that will help me because, like I said, it was. A different kind of pressure and, and I think I learned a lot uh, about myself under that pressure so I think that helps me um, but yeah playing in front of your home crowd and, and you know there's a lot of pressure on you um, I think that will help but again it's I think it's gonna be very very different standing there on the first tee tomorrow uh, I'm sure and I'm, um, I'm definitely gonna be very nervous no doubt about it um, but um, I'll just I'll try to just embrace the moment and and, and do my best. Um, I enjoy being nervous, so I think that's a that's a great feeling to have. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward whenever I'm standing on that first tee. Mike two in the middle. Uh, yes, Torbjorn, you've had less time than almost anybody else to get used to the idea that you're playing this week. Uh, how do you find yourself reacting to the environment? Are you less nervous than you thought you'd be? More nervous? Uh, how do you find yourself reacting? Um, I was well. The last two weeks, I was sort of preparing myself for being like very nervous and you know being a part of this. And I think Tuesday, maybe the first practice round on the first uh, on the tenth tee we started on. Yeah, I was nervous. Um, as soon as I hit that first shot, I was I was quite relaxed and uh, you know like I said before I think the experienced guys that's been here a lot has, has helped a lot and, and the vice captains and uh, and captain uh, has made it easy to come into the team so um, so far I've been yeah pretty relaxed. Have you ever been nervous on a practice round before? Um, yeah I think when I played um, my first major probably the Open and I think at Masters also in Augusta when I played my first practice round. Um, I think when you get on the first tee, you always have that little bit of nerve, uh, and I think that's a good feeling to have. Um, I feel every every tournament that teed up first round on on the first uh, first hole, I think I always get that nerve. I know it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be very very different this week, but um, uh, like I said, I enjoy. I, enjoy being nervous, uh, I think that's a great feeling. Mike three, please. I thought, well, you mentioned earlier that you're close friends with, um, with Thomas, and you, you sort of, could, could you expand on the sort of things you do off the course with him? Because you, you just said you do stuff with him, but can you sort of go into a bit of detail about what you do? Is it football or any other things you do with him? Yeah, everything. I mean, uh, we both live in London, um, go watch football, you know, dinners, um, everything really. Um, yeah. Just, and I think Jim's question before was like, what's your first memory of the Ryder Cup as a youngster or off TV or something? I think that's what he was getting at. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Sorry. That's my English. No, no, yeah. it's, it's okay. <laughs> so, yeah. um, first memory. I think, um, I think the K Club is probably what I remember the best. Um, I was a little bit older also. Um, I know I've seen a few before that, but um, I remember watching the K Club very clearly, and it was very emotional. And I th from what I saw, it felt like the crowds were amazing, also. And it was just, uh, yeah, for me, a special, special Ryder Cup. A mic for you. Thorbjorn, firstly, what was the most menial errand that, that Thomas sent you on when you were his cart driver two years ago? Sorry, say that what, again. What was the most menial or, or strangest errand that Thomas sent you on when we, he was your cart driver? Or when you were his cart driver? <laughs> um, I don't know what the strangest thing was, but uh, I definitely had to go into the clubhouse to get coffees a few times. Um, 
and more than a few times. Um, and it was really, really difficult to get from the course into the clubhouse. There was, especially in a European car, I think it was it didn't make it easier to drive back and forth and uh, with quite a lot of people also. So um, yeah, that was that was probably the toughest about it. Um, I'm not sure about the strangers. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, secondly, because you has, have such a good friendship with Thomas, was it important for you to qualify in your own right so that there could be no accusation that, that he was picking you as, a, as an old pals act? Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it meant the world that, that, that I could draw, qualify straight in. And it would have been a really tough decision for Thomas if, if it wasn't because there were so many great players um, being outside. And um, yeah, I wouldn't know if I qualified or uh, would have got the pick or not. But uh, yeah, it just, I think it makes me feel better also being here um, as a rookie, making the team. Um, I think I feel more confident and um, yeah, I think it made it easier. Uh, Mike, two on the left. We hear a lot about the jokes going around in the team environment. Has anyone played a joke on you? Um, there's been a few good videos, yeah. Um, there's been some, uh, yeah, there's been a quite a few jokes. Obviously, also, I'm on my own. Um, so there's been a few jokes about that. Um, yeah, it's been a great atmosphere. It's been, it's been a Tell lot of fun. Tell us more. Sorry? Tell us more about it. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to go into too much details <laughs> about it, <laughs> but yeah, it was funny. Have time for two more, Mike Three. Uh, Tobian, is there one piece of advice that you've had this week that's been particularly helpful? And have, is there any senior player in particular that sort of played a leading role in helping you get ready for what's about to come? Um, I think the best thing is. Um, Stick to your own routines and, and 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 keep doing what you've done to make this team. Um, that's what I've been trying to do these these few days. Um, don't try to do anything differently and don't don't try to overdo it. Um, I spoke to a few different people about that. Uh, I had a nice conversation with um, Nicolas Colsas last week in Portugal also, um, and uh, yeah, just. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions either. Uh, he was talking a lot about that. Um, I think that's probably the two best advice. Last question on Mike for. So, well, I'm sure Thomas has plan A, B, C, D if, for what, what's going to happen this week. But if plan A worked, have you already been told how many times he expects you to play before the singles? Um, I'm sure he has, yeah, a lot of, a lot of different plans. Um, no, I don't know 100% sure how many times I'm going to play. Um, I don't. Okay, we'll leave it there. Tom, thank you for your okay, time. Okay, thank you. <laughs>